Yo, what's up, morning. Thanks for watching uh, on our YouTube channel. Sorry, I was just replying to a uh, tweet from, uh, I went to Great Yarmouth, so let me start from the start. At the weekend, I had an amazing weekend away with the family, went to Great Yarmouth, didn't vlog anything. I was gonna vlog some if I saw any gardens or anything, but I didn't. Just went to a few fairgrounds and stuff like that. But we did pop into a um, shop that sells stuff for one coin. You know who I mean. Anyway, I was just replying to a tweet because when I was up there, we saw some plants in there and they look so dead. And I just mentioned it on Twitter yesterday and they just got back to me. So I'm just replying to that. But what I'm saying is, you know, you can't just sell plants for like a nominal amount and just expect people to buy them like that because they were dying. They were well on their way out. Which is sad, really. Anyway, talking about things that aren't dying, come and check this guy out. It's wet down here. Did it rain, did it rain last night? The fern. Hello. Check him out. He is looking actually. Honestly, back to his youth again. Right, so you tell me, you guys, these ferns, where, over winter, do they like die down to nothing? I need to know. Because, um, he's got his, I can't even believe it. Fern watch, people. Fern watch. Also making, actually, I'll come back to this. All, all I wanted to do quickly, I've got such a busy day today. Today is my nan's birthday. Did I go in the pot and shed last night? I must have. Today is my nan's birthday. Close that door. Today is my nan's birthday, so we are doing some gorilla gardening. Not really gorilla gardening because it's my nan's house, but um, we want to do some more gorilla gardening in the next few weeks, or well, definitely this year we're going to do some gorilla gardening. Shh, it's gorilla gardening. We met uh, Richard Reynolds the other day. If you've not heard of him, give him a Google. He's an awesome gorilla gardener and really nice chap. Chap? Chap. Really nice guy, and we learned a lot from him, and we'd love to do some more with him. Actually, I've got to email him. Say, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Um, so quickly, I've got, not long today, I've only got, I've got ages actually, but you know how quick the day goes from gardening. Oh, I just wanted to bring you quickly into the pot and shed. Over the weekend, it was really quite sunny here, quite cold up in Great Yarmouth, but I thought I'd come back and all the plants would be dead. They've not had a water over the weekend, but actually looking... I mean, these are the pumpkin plants, looking pretty good. The tomato seedlings, they are getting a little bit bigger, blah, blah, blah. I can't, I ain't got time right now to go through everything. Let's quickly, oh, why well, not? To a car boot the other day, over the weekend, and brought a few plants, um, and they have got a little bit battered up in the, look at the, I'll tell you what, the grass this year was growing too fast. Every time I gr cut it, it seems like I'm having to redo it again. But it does look messy when it's not cut. Look at my neighbour's one. That's Jason's. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you don't mind me showing this. That, that's Jason's grass, nicely cut. This is Jason's greenhouse. I'm not, I'm not sure what he's growing in there. He's getting rid of it though, his dad's taking it away very soon, I think, to put in his garden. Right, where was I? I bought some plants, like I said, from a car boot, and uh, with, they went in the car, and this, everyone, is the tomato plant. Bit sad. Oh dear. These guys are chilli plants, right. One of these is Scotch Bonnet, I'm gonna guess that one. Oh God, look at this guy. Ah, oh, battered. Not good. Oh, he's not good. Ah, oh. what is the point? These guys got a little bit more beaten up than I thought in the car. This guy is jalapeno. We're gonna come back to this pot and shed. Right, let's get these guys some sunshine up here while we're out. Oh no. He's snapped. Let's put them up there. Right, so first things first, we're gonna go and do some gorilla gardening, but it's not real gorilla gardening. Let's call it 
Nanny gardening. Nanny gardening. Nanny gardening. Not nanny gardening. Just leave it nanny gardening. I can't think. I'll come back to you. One last thing. I am going. I'm going. But let's just quickly check these herbs out. Oh, I left them on the floor. Right, Camo is doing okay. Basil. Lovely stuff. Rosemary. It's just not 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 a no show. Unless that is rosemary. There's a little one there actually, look. But right, seriously, let's go. You guys are slowing me down today. Come on. Do you need to have a tidy up of the garden later on? Or definitely tomorrow. Looking a little bit shabby for some reason. Shabby chic. Shabby chic. I'm gonna take a bit of compost with me because I don't think the Nan's pots have got anything in at the moment. Just for something we can call it. Not gorilla gardening. Monkey gardening. Monkey! Let's go and get some plants. Today I'm going to one of the big sheds. I don't know why they call them sheds because they're not sheds, are they? They're massive. I wouldn't usually, I'd usually go to like a garden centre or somewhere little, but because I'm tight on time today and this is on the way to my nan's, I'm going to quickly pop here and get some plants for her. Don't tell her though because she probably won't be happy about that either. What I would say is, um, and what we've learned, is plants from like garden centres and places that really look after their plants. Not, I'm not saying the big sheds don't look after their plants, but they tend to grow better. So yeah, what I would say is go to a garden centre, but today I'm not, so totally going against anything that I've just said. Brilliant. But if my nan asks, we went to a garden centre, all right? That's what monkey gardening's about, isn't it? Monkey gardening. New thing, monkey gardening. Hashtag, hashtag monkey gardening. Hashtag it. Right, next time you see me, I'm gonna have a load of plants and we're gonna be heading to Nan's, okay? <laughs> that was like the worst bit of um, secret filming ever, I'd, I'd be a rubbish spy. I've got loads of plants for Nan's garden, I hope she's going to be happy. We're going to see me plant them up in a sec. On the plants wise, looking at it, I'd, I'd not brought plants from one of the big sheds before. But they're basically the, the same price. Are they the same quality? We're going to find out this year, I suppose. Price-wise, we're looking exactly the same. Oh, traffic. Come on, mate, let me out. While we're driving along, what do you guys think about the vlog? This is our, like our seventh, eighth vlog now. If you love it, give us a big thumbs up. And if you don't, give us a big thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to do some monkey gardening. Are you with me, monkey gardeners? Ooh, ooh, rebel. 